It's half past ten on Wednesday, the 3rd of November. You're watching UTV Live tonight. Good evening. I'm Paul Clark. Welcome to the program. She's been missing for more than three years. And now the family of Madeleine McCann fear the search for their daughter could be nearing its end. A vigil is held for the pensioner who died after collapsing during a robbery at a shop in West Belfast. A girl who died trying to save her family from a fire started deliberately by her father is rewarded for her bravery. And as Barack Obama suffers a humiliating defeat in the midterm elections, has he become a lame duck president? Madeleine McCann's abduction touched the hearts of millions of people throughout the world, not least in Donegal, where she holidayed with her family just weeks before she vanished. But there's still no sign of Maddie. A private investigation launched by her parents is running out of cash fast. On top of that, they fear the authorities have now given up the hunt for their daughter. Sharon O'Neill reports. If it wasn't for the kindness of the general public, there wouldn't be a search at all for Madeleine. You know, because without Madeleine's fund, there would have been no investigation at all in the last two years. If Madeleine was found, it would almost be by chance, and it shouldn't be right that this crime is solved by another child being abducted. Madeleine McCann is at her happiest here. It's the Easter holidays and she's in Donegal where her grandparents live, enjoying an ice cream with friends. But just weeks after this photograph was taken, the three-year-old vanished, snatched from her parents' holiday apartment in the Algarve, in a tragic story which has gripped the world. I mean, there are days when you feel like you can't go on, um, and, uh, you know, it's a burden that uh, you carry constantly, but, uh, as Kate said, you know, it's like a treadmill that you're on and you can't go off as parents. Even if you wanted to, you can't. And I think, uh, you know, we will keep going until the end. While Madeline's parents will never give up hope, they fear those in power have. I expected more, and whether my expectations were higher than, than they should have been, I don't believe so, because we are British citizens. And even opening Madeline's passport on the front page, it says that we will provide you with assistance and protection, and I feel she could have a lot more. Madeline disappeared while on holiday with her family in the Portuguese resort of Praia de Luz in the Algarve, just days before her fourth birthday. She was kidnapped from this ground floor apartment as her parents ate at a restaurant nearby. A massive search was launched as soon as they realised Madeline was gone, and that search turned global. Please, could you go to your local authorities or police and give any information that you have, any genuine information that you have? Please, please help us. But despite tip-offs and alleged sightings of Madeline, she's never been found. Frustrated by the lack of progress in the investigation by police in England where they live and the Portuguese authorities, the McCann set up their own privately funded investigation. Boosted by the generosity of the public, at its peak, £2 million was in the fund. But the cash is running out and the investigation is in danger of winding up. Today the McCanns made a final appeal to the UK and Portuguese authorities. They want a full review of the case. Well, the case was officially closed in July 2008. So that's what, two and a quarter years ago. I suspect there's probably little that was done proactively after we were declared our Guido in September 2007. I think that will probably come as a surprise to most people. I want to be clear, you know, there are reactive elements. So if new information comes in, I'm sure the British police will take it forward, uh, prioritise it, and send it through to Portugal. And our own team have passed information through. But what we want is a fundamental review of all the major facts, looking at all elements of information, look at the processes that were undertaken, and say this could be done better. And the goal is to obviously to find Madeline and who took her, but that person or those responsible are still at liberty and they should be brought to justice. The McCanns have close links to Northern Ireland and the Republic. Jerry's father, Jack, went to school in London Derry, but he grew up in the village of St Johnston, just over the border in Donegal. And he ran this pub with his wife Eileen up until he died. St Johnston became a retreat for Jerry, Kate and their young family. And people here feel the McCanns have been badly let down. They think of them as one of their own, to understand, and they take 
very much to heart sort of thing what is, exactly has happened. So uh, everybody's feeling for the McCann family, knowing that they actually came from this part of the country. People everywhere have, you know, huge sympathy for the family and what they're going through. And I think it's terrible that there still hasn't been anything done, you know, um, up to date about her. I'm sure somebody somewhere knows where she is and, you know, some more should be done to help them find her. This is how Madeline may look today. Three years older, but still with those big, innocent eyes which captivated the world. Jerry and Kate believe their daughter is still alive. Well, no, it would be very difficult to find Madeline. There's been enough cases of other children who've been missing for very prolonged periods, including JC Dugard, Sean Hornbeck and others, who have been recovered um, after being abducted and, you know, been physically well. So there's absolutely no evidence to suggest um, Madeline is not out there. And what we need to do is to make sure that the authorities are doing everything in their power to find Madeline and those responsible for her abduction. Madeline's younger brother and sister, who were also in the apartment at the time she disappeared, are also waiting for her to come home. Oh, they're fantastic. I'm in the five and three quarters now, as they'll tell you. Um, and they're unbelievable. They really are amazing. Um, you know, they still talk about Madeline all the time. I mean, every day they'll talk about Madeline. Um, they understand that we're having to look for her, that we have various people looking for us. They understand why people have car stickers, why people have wristbands. Um, they still talk about when Madeline comes home, you know, how will they share the bedrooms, will the three of them be together, well, you know, what colour bedroom will we have, you know. They're desperate for to get home so she can open all those presents that are sitting in her room, you know. Um, but they, you know, they keep us going and this would be so much harder or unbearable in fact if it wasn't for Sean and Emily. The McCanns have suffered every parent's worst nightmare, but they still haven't lost heart that one day they'll see Madeline again. Sharon O'Neill, UTV Live Tonight.